Hello world, and welcome to another episode of Sit Down Saturday. Now, when you become part of the cast, you become part of a family. And with your family, you know what makes them mad, what makes them happy, what scares them, what they're allergic to, all sorts of things like that. And when you become part of the cast, you kind of have to relearn all of that with your new family members. With me, I'm pretty much open, and I like to tell people right up front what scares me, what makes me mad, what makes me happy, just so that everyone knows and it's not a surprise when things happen. A lot of times people think I'm very weird because I have things that I have to do or the ways that I have to do them, but everyone has their own. I'm just up front about them. Most of the time people look at me like... Or they say things like... You're weird. That's crazy. And all I have to say is, it's me. So here's a few quirky things I'm embarrassed to say, but I definitely let people know. I have to eat things evenly. And you're probably wondering, What does that mean? Well, to me, it means I have to eat things on both sides of my mouth at the same time, or I have to have two of the same color things, like two M&Ms, two Skittles, two chocolate bars, whatever, it just has to match. And if it doesn't, I end up giving away or throwing away whatever's left over. I'm childishly scared of costume characters and masks, so if somebody comes up and they're like in a clown outfit, or they're wearing a mask, or a costume character, and I don't know who's behind there, and I haven't seen them put it on, I basically freak out and don't know what to do. <laughs> when I lay down in bed to sleep, I have a certain side I have to lay on on the bed. Even if I'm laying by myself, I end up creeping towards that side of the bed. I have a weird thing about nipples. I watched a TV show where they reenacted how a guy's nipple got ripped off and it freaks me out. It's so gross and I'm very scared when people come up and touch or graze my nipple. <laughs> When I'm walking and I'm really nervous or stressed out about something, if I step on a certain color tile, then that's the only color tile I have to step on. Or if I'm walking on the sidewalk and I step on a square and I count how many steps are in there, I have to step that many steps in every square of the sidewalk that I walk on. I have a weird scratching problem where every time I scratch or get scraped at some part of my body, I tend to keep scratching and scratching and scratching at it to the point that it looks like I have a rash or have bumps and one of the worst times is when I scratched my leg, I kept scratching at it and I kept scratching while I was watching TV to the point that at the end of it I thought it was really sweaty and I looked and my hand was covered in blood because all I did was scratch for a whole 30 minutes of a TV show. Ooh. Something that gets me is when I'm laying in bed and I'm ready to sleep and the closet door or the bathroom door or any door is cracked open, I have to get up and close it because I'm scared something is going to crawl out of there or someone's going to come out and chop me up to pieces. So I feel like if the door is closed, I would hear them come out while I'm sleeping. Another thing is I'm a nail biter and it's really bad because I tend to start biting my nails and not know when to stop so that eventually someone tells me you've been biting your nails too much and I look down and half of my nail is gone and I don't feel it until afterwards because I'm too busy just gnawing at my finger. I also have an issue with public restrooms. If it's not clean, I usually don't use it and I end up sending someone in there to check to see if I can use it. Speaking of which, you know how usually you're like, Hmm, I should pee. I'll be on the road for a long time. I should use the restroom. Yeah, I don't have that. I can stand at a toilet stall for the longest time and not have to pee. Then walk out and two minutes later, have to pee so bad. It literally comes at a moment's notice and it's horrible because sometimes you just want to go before a show and you can't because you're not ready to go and then in the middle of the number, you are like clenching to make sure that you don't pee on stage and you have to hope that you have time to run backstage and pee in between a number when you finally feel like you have to pee. It's horrible! When I was younger, I used to hate wearing underwear and now I have a very bad shopping problem with underwear where I tend to buy things that I don't even wear or I have a lot of things I've only worn once and the worst part of it is I have a full collection of Superman underwear, a lot of the same style of underwear, but just because it has Superman on it, I've bought it because I saw it on the sales rack or I saw it on the counter and I had to have it because I had Superman on it so I could go through a whole month of wearing Superman underwear and not have to do laundry and I'd still have underwear left over to keep going so that I really could go through almost a year of wearing one pair of underwear each day and not having to do laundry, which is kind of gross. But yeah, that's a lot of underwear. And on top of that, I have a Superman shopping issue where usually if I see anything that has Superman on it, I tend to just pick it up and buy it, regardless of what it is. It could be hats, a backpack, shoes, 
obviously underwear, and a bra for all I care. I'll end up buying it. Something a lot of people don't know about me is I'm a really introverted person. So the reason why I'm so loud and so out there and crazy is because I have to let things go and let things happen or else I'd be sat in my room by myself all the time. Now the side effect to that is that I have no filter. So whatever happens in my brain comes straight out of my mouth and I can't really hold anything back. So what you get is truthfully what I think. Yeah, those are a few things about me that people think are very weird, but hey, I'm up front and I'm telling you now, and i just like to let you know. That's all I have for this week's video. Next week, and hopefully the following weeks afterwards, I'll be able to get people to come in and sit down with me for these Sit Down Saturdays. If you don't already know who they are, go ahead and check out last week's video, which is Meet the Cast. If you also want to know what's been going on throughout the whole week, I have our weekly Rack Up Wednesdays, which I take together all of the videos that I have, shove them all into one video for you to enjoy. Remember, watch, like, share, and subscribe. Bye!